Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm doing a marine sports shoot all day long. Uh, I've just finished most of the uh, water shoots where we did some diving, uh, where I used a dive housing. But now we're gonna go shoot some kayaking and we're gonna be in relatively shallow water. So I'm gonna use my Altex water cases for, these, for this shoot just to keep any uh, splashes or spills off the camera. So uh, I've got my Altex housings here. One which is built to use with a speed light. And the one I usually use is this one here uh, for use without a flash. This one's for a camera with a battery grip at the bottom or the 1D series or your D3s and D4s if you're on the Nikons. Um, so I'm gonna show you now how to get one of these on your camera. All right, here we go. Okay, so the camera I'm gonna be using for this one, this shoot, is the 1D Mark IV with the new 24 to 70 f4 IS lens attached to that. And for the Altex housings, like I showed you before, you've got your main uh, case here with a big hole in the front for your lens, hole in the back for your LCD screen, and then I've got my neck strap here or wrist strap. But today I'll just use the neck strap. It's nice and padded and uh, can dry out pretty easily. Then you'll need this little part here, which will wrap around the case and attach uh, to the LCD part and kind of holds this all nice and uh, tight together around your camera. And then lastly, you need your glass elements to go in the front and back. I keep mine in a little Pelican case like so. So in here I have my three different, uh, this is uh, parts here, this is for the back for your uh, viewfinder and this is for the front 77 mil thread and this one here is if I'm going to use my flash won't need that one today there's another piece here if I'm going to use the tripod uh, case which I don't have with me today but you can mount it to a tripod and put it under water if you want to okay so you want to make sure all your settings are good to go first of all you've got your autofocus set um, because once it's in there you can't really see any of your settings so you want to get most of them set before you go you can change them but it's a little bit tricky okay let's put it together so first of all I grab the back of the uh, case here stretch it open and stick my camera in the back there just want to watch out you don't get the sharp parts of the hot shoe um, pushing too hard on the rubber So there we are, just working the way around the body, stretching out this uh, latex housing around it. It's um, super strong and really stretchy, so you can really pull on it to get it around there. Okay, we're getting there now. So now we can go and put the front part of the, the front part of the uh, the locking mechanism on this element. So here it is here. Make sure that it's L-shaped. You want to make sure the pointy kind of pointy bit, not the flat part, pointy bit facing down. Put it over the thread and screw it together. So this housing's great for when you're going to you want to shoot in rain or near waterfalls um, any water sports really above the water um, are great it says it can go to 10 meters but uh, I've taken it to 5 meters before and that gets a little bit scary but anywhere in the you know, getting splashed or uh, snorkeling no problem at all and now we do the same as we just did with the front, except we do it the other way around. Okay. One thing too I forgot to mention is what you want to do before you uh, put these, screw these down, is uh, you want to squeeze the air out as much as you can. 
um, if you're gonna go in the water with it. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier to get to the buttons and things too. So I just pull up a little bit of the side here and then I'll squeeze it all down. So get some air to the front first, pull it up a little bit and you can hear it, you can hear the air coming out. There we go, it doesn't have to be perfect but just to get as much of the air out as you can. We'll put that front back on. All right, and then we stick on our little harness. And that goes on like so. And last but not least, we stick on the neck strap. There we are, the Altex is ready to rock and roll. So to get to my dials, uh, I can still reach down here and, and push up and down. Uh, I know my power switch is down here, so I can just flick this down here and shutter, front dial. And I can still rotate that okay. Um, if you want to preview a picture, obviously you've got to know where your buttons are but you can see in there, you can see the picture okay. Um, some buttons are a little bit hard to get to, like the, the little joystick button on the cannons. You'd have to reach in a little bit far to get to that one. And some of the other ones, yeah, it can be a little bit tricky, but for the most part, it's fine. As long as you know where your buttons are, if you need to change ISO and things like that, make sure you memorize those and get used to your camera first. But that's it, time to go in the water.